Good afternoon. Welcome to OG Dweeb. In a few weeks, we're supposed to be going to take our camper down south. And I've been going through some of my equipment and other supplies. And I forgot that I had forgotten to show you guys this little travel kit I had put together last summer. Uh, this is my watercolor travel kit. And as you can see, first off and foremost, it's in all of it's in a Ziploc bag. Now, this is because there are times where I'm just backpacking it. And if it starts to rain, you know, or if I've got it out or it's whatever, it's just to protect it. Also, on the other hand, you'll see f inside I've got three aqua brushes, which are in a bag themselves. So not only does it keep water out, but it'll keep it in in the case of a leak. So let's dig in. Okay, so I've broken the kit down for you. And first and foremost, you'll see here that I have... A very simple, just little pencil pouch from the Dollar Tree that I paid a dollar for to hold all of my watercolor items. Now, the little front pouch here, and there's a large pouch here. In the front pouch, I keep two clips, which help me keep my sketchbook open when I'm out doing some plein air painting. And I also have a small ruler, which if you look closely, is actually a knitting needle gauge. But hey, it's the right size, it works well for my needs. Also, you can use it as a small circle template if you really wanted to. So that's what I've got. Dollar Tree, Dollar Tree, and I think this came in one of the little, one of the various crochet kits I've gotten over the years. So, so far we've got, what, $2 invested? All right, so there's that. Then, uh, I've got my sketchbook. And you'll see why exactly that I got it for I think I paid less than three dollars for it if you look closely the covers got a few little hacks and scratches on it this is like the the fake leather type moleskin by Strathmore and uh you know as you can see I haven't started it yet but this is a five by eight little sketchbook I enjoy the fact that the pages are just a little bit off white as opposed to bright stark white and uh although um, I am not able to demonstrate the paints for you right this minute. I did do this painting at a picnic table at a campground with the paints that are in this particular set. Um, and at some point I'd really like to demonstrate for you, um, the actual paints themselves as we, we go through in real time and, and create some art. This isn't the best either. Um, it was kind of a windy day. It was actually, I did it in Michigan's, uh, Upper Peninsula. And this is a little lantern that I have. So... There's my sketch pad. Then I've got this little reservoir, this little palette, which I may go ahead and remove from the kit now that I've gotten a little bit larger watercolor tin for my paint set, which I'll show you in just a minute. But as you can see, this uh, little palette has been very well loved. It's stained up. It's got, you know, it's about darn near impossible to get that paint out of the cracks and just, yeah. So... I've got that. I paid 99 cents for this at Hobby Lobby. Then, of course, we've got tissue. This is just, um, you know, cheap paper towel. Um, I also have used um, fast food restaurant napkins on the go as well. You know, whatever you can find. Something to clean your brush with. Also, since this is white, I can kind of test my color on the go. Um, then I have a pen. This is a gel pen. This is actually for my... Um, little journal that I carry with me. We make notes on the different various campsites we go to, you know, what we liked, what we didn't like. If we see a particular campsite at a campground we're at that we thought we might like better than the one we were at, we write that down. Um, we write down any, I don't know, I also keep track of when we buy like new gear as far as like large purchases go. So that's what this is for. It's for my journal. Of course, I have a pencil and an eraser. I think I got this for like 50 cents at Hobby Lobby. Big pencils in these table, or the topper erasers, a buck for each set at Dollar Tree. I think you get about six pencils and gosh, about 20 erasers. Very inexpensive. Always have an eraser with you. And then I've got my Micron pens, which I'm sure most of you are familiar with. I've got a one, a five, and a three. Just, you know, the regular fine liner permanent pens it's been good. that looks like it's in focus <laughs> let's see here okay let me get the it's hard to do some of this one-handed honestly <laughs> okay 
Okay, so we get rid of them. Then we've got brushes. Now, since they are filled with water, I keep them in a plastic baggie in case they leak. Now, I've had these for about, gosh, closing in on a year now, and they've never leaked. Not even into the plastic baggie. So I've had good luck with them. I wasn't sure I was going to even like these Aqua Pens. And to be honest, for like everyday at home use, I don't use them. But they are great for like urban sketching or plein air painting. I do have the little like um, capped reservoir cups, but I prefer these. These are Brie Reese brand. Um, oops, upside down. Uh, I got these on clearance, all three of them on clearance for about a buck fifty a piece at Hobby Lobby last summer. And I've got a small round, a medium round, and a small flat brush, which work fine for my needs. Again, keep them in a plastic bag just in case. And then last but not least, I got this Medine watercolor tin for Christmas. Um, one of the issues I was having is that the little white case that the uh, Windsor Newton Cotman paints come in the paints are not adhered in any way inside the case and they were flopping all over the place they were sticking to the lid I would open the lid there'd be paints stuck to the lid so I went ahead and uh, got this for Christmas and it also again I have an extra reservoir here now there's not one on the original case that these come in also you'll see I can try to dump these out upside down they don't come out where the original container they would have just all flopped all over the floor so and then they did come with this Windsor Newton travel brush I don't know if you can well shoot and that you know is the standard you just flip it over and put the end in if I can do this one-handed I'd be happy there we go um this actually this paintbrush is actually pretty good for doing detail work um but as you can see um it's a pretty fine brush so and uh, I unfortunately do not have my uh, swatches out here. Um, however, these do have the standard 12 paints you would find in, in most sets. Um, one thing I am meh about is I would like to replace that white paint there with a black. There is no black. There's no Payne's gray. There's just... And, I mean, you could argue that the colors are available to mix. Yes, they are. But when you're kind of on the fly in a hurry, not in a hurry, but, you know, you're a little pressed for time. You're trying to do a quick sketch. It would be nice to have a black. And, actually, I'm wondering if I could even maybe fit one here in the corner. It's worth giving it a shot. But at some point, I would like to demonstrate these for you. Again, these are the Windsor Newton uh, Cotman Student Grade 12 set of paints, half pans. And I'm sure some of you have already seen my... Uh, video for the the paints that I use here at home the white nights but anyway that is my little travel kit um I can throw it in my backpack oh another thing I like about this is there's a finger uh you can you know, put your thumb through it and hold it like this let me zoom out you know while you're painting so anyway that is my travel watercolor kit and I'm hoping it's going to be getting some use in about two weeks we do have uh, Old Man OG has some vacation time coming up, but we're still kicking around exactly what we're going to do um, with some of the you know, recent news, frankly, because of fears that they may quarantine for coronavirus. So we're kind of playing it by ear and see how things are in two weeks. So anyway, that's my travel watercolor set. And again, at some point, I will demonstrate these paints for you live. I'm still working on trying to get a hold of a tripod. Hope you guys have a great day and I'll talk to you later.